Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a weekly breakdown of the ongoing conflict with the Thargoids and a guide to how you can easily get involved and make a difference. If you find this information useful and enjoy our content then do give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. It's been a weirder than usual week this week. As we anticipated last week the last of the damaged stations in the Witch Head sector was brought online and again as we suspected last week something new emerged. Late last week commanders started encountering a previously unseen variant of the Thargoid interceptor around Professor Palin's old digs in the Maya system. AX scans revealed the five hearted fiend to be called the Orthrus variant and initial encounters were just met with the Thargoid accelerating away from the deserted base going straight up and waking away. The new vessel was going so fast that interacting with it before it waked away was extremely difficult. However, humans are resourceful, ingenious, problem solving, highly evolved primates who are able to use our large brains, dexterous fingers and opposable thumbs to solve the most complex of issues. And then of course sometimes we just ram stuff and then sit on it so that it can't get away. One such tactic proved extremely effective when investigating this new apparent threat and a tissue sample was taken that returned a basilisk flavoured result. The usual variant specific iconography that accompanies a Thargoid scan showed a version in the usual vein but this graphic had the word NO stamped across it in very clear and undeniably human lettering. When the sub targets on the ship were investigated they did show unknown drives but it also showed a regular power distributor, shield generator, power plant and frameshift drive. Attacks on the ship went unchallenged and Thargoid scouts were witnessed on multiple occasions firing on the mysterious vessel. The elitosphere went nuts. The rumour and speculation express was leaving the station and headed full steam into Tinfoil Valley. Was this a new breed of Thargoid? Had Palin been playing reanimator and managed to build himself some sort of horrific human Thargoid hybrid? A Thargonstein? A Frankengoid? And then Tado Chip happened. The very next morning after all this kicked off the Burr household awoke to see a video of not only the first kill of the new variant but it was a solo kill. Commander Tado Chip had screamed out of orbital crews in an AX kitted crate rammed into the escaping Orthrus and held it on the ground while continually shooting at it at point blank range, skillfully working his way round the hearts while simultaneously stopping the nightmare fueled danger daffodil from leaving the ground. It didn't fight back, it just mooed and then made explosion noises without actually exploding or dropping anything. Clearly this was meant to be a scripted encounter and we were never meant to be able to interact with it on a serious degree let alone hold it on the ground and punch it to death. Without putting too fine a point on it it wasn't working as intended not by a long shot. So what's going on here? I'd like to believe that there is something like a Palin built Frankengoid going on. I really would. I'd like to believe that the human lettering on the graphics and the humanesque components, different cockpit design and even a human looking face on the front of the Goidenstein all point to an intriguing twist in the plot. But until we know for sure that the encounter is working as intended and we're only seeing what we're supposed to be seeing and not what was accidentally left behind in the development process I don't think we can call it either way. The no on the graphic could mean non-organic. It could be an instruction written in English ...no don't shoot. Or it could be a developer leftover ...no don't use this one. You see as soon as the Frankengoid was killed Frontier appeared to pull the encounter. It's no longer in the game as we record this. I look forward to its inevitable return but until we know that everything in the encounter is working as intended and we're seeing what we're supposed to be seeing then all other evidence has to be treated with caution until it can be re-evaluated. Maybe 
A new interstellar initiative will give us more on this clearly still developing story. Until then there's been no change in the Thargoid activity from last week. Operation Ida are still repairing disabled stations in the bubble. Go lend a hand if you're able. There's a ton of work to do. They could use your cargo hold. You'll find links below to Discord servers for the AXI, the Hive and the Hand. If you're looking to wing up with other AX commanders those guys can direct you to existing Thargoid encounters and teach you the best tactics for splatting bugs. Remember wherever you go commanders pick your fights with care. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs may all your hype addictions be brief and don't let the horror weeds give you nightmares. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.